Hello everybody, let's have a look in this video at the Nuki 3.0 Pro but we will not review it because there are plenty of reviews out there but we're going to have a look at how to integrate it in Home Assistant and we compare different methods of opening from the outside the keypad or an RF tag reader that I built so let's have a look let's have a look now at the hardware bit you can use something like this which is the official keypad 2.0 overall it looks nice one thing i don't like you can feel the battery moving inside and this will stick on your door or on the wall using this double side tape this is the mounting solution the problem is that if you slide this down you see once it's on the wall you slide this down and it just comes up there's no security anybody can just take it and if it doesn't take this you can just pull down this tab and take your batteries away and if it takes this bit my guess is it's not going to work anymore so in order to prevent this getting stolen although to be fair Nuki on a website advertised the fact that if it gets stolen uh, you send them the invoice that you purchase it along with a police report and they will send you a new one anyway it's better to prevent so i've got this 3d printed case for it i've got the link in the description if you want to print one this will screw on the wall with these two screws you can use double sided tape if you want this goes like this and this goes like this now we use two of these m5 screws in here and this is perfect can't take it anymore anyway so like we are saying you can use something like this which has got a fingerprint and you got the keypad in here if you if you put the the pin the code wrong you will send your notifications on the phone it's got some leds on the top here it looks nice one thing i've noticed is extremely slow after you key in the code you will or you swipe the finger it will take about 20 30 seconds until it reacts and opens the door now this costs about 159 euros i think like i said it does look nice it doesn't look very I don't know it looks kind of flimsy another solution which cost a lot less is use something like this like you've seen in other videos we have is the NFC RFID reader now this is actually much much better than this now this has Bluetooth and it has the fingerprint and it has the keys this doesn't integrate into home assistant and is slow and is expensive it is nice but it's slow and is expensive now this this is another level this is the rfid tag this is using a ESP8266 or Mini D1 we have a PN532 RFID reader we have in here an LED and we have a small buzzer in here 
Now, you should have on the screen now the schematics for it. And I also added a push button, which is this one. I'll explain in a minute. So basically, and it closes like this. We have you can you can use one of these cases, or you can get from AliExpress some NFC RFID tags, which are really cheap. Uh, just remove everything from inside, and just use this inside the other box. They look more professional, and they look more. They look stronger than this to be outside the door so basically we'll see the software in a bit but how this work you can either swipe it and if the door is closed you will open the door and if you swipe it again if the door is open you will close the door now Beside the keypad, Nuki also have a door sensor. Now, this door sensor, in my opinion, is a little bit stupid. Uh, first of all, it's huge. Now, this is the Nuki sensor, which cost about 49 euro. Let's put it side by side with the Akara one and with the Xiaomi one. It's the biggest of of all three now to be fair because this the Nuki one is Bluetooth it also consumes more power so they added the bigger battery inside and my guess this is the reason for it now it looks a bit cheap it looks a lot cheaper than the Akara one Akara one has a nicer finish this looks like cheap plastic it is slow, you open the door, you close the door, we'll see in a minute, it takes about 15 seconds to realize you close it and open the door. Again, it might be something to do with the battery saving capabilities. But, why I think this device is really, really stupid? Say, you've got this on your door, so Nuki knows that the door is, is closed properly on, or is open. If the door is open and you press the button to lock the, the door, although it knows the door is open, it will also lock the door. Why would you lock the door if the door is open? I don't know. Then another thing is Noki has a feature called lock and go where you press the button on the on the device itself and then you open the door and when you close the door you will lock the door now it's all nice in the menu you can choose a set amount of time for the lock and go feature say i don't know from i think it's from 20 to like a minute 20 seconds to like a minute or something we'll see in a minute anyway beside the the 60 seconds time which I think is the maximum, you will also use this sensor. Say you press lock and go, you exit the door, and as soon as you close the door and it realizes the door is closed, although the 60 second hasn't passed yet, it will also lock the door for you, which is nice. But if you open the door and with the door open, say you wait a little bit, maybe for the kids, they're not ready yet, or I don't know, uh you haven't closed the door you open the door and you haven't closed the door within the 60 seconds so i thought that adding this the lock will know that the door is open and although the 60 second has passed you will not actually close to try to lock the door uh unless you close the door but no 60 second has passed or whatever time you set up you will lock the door then maybe you hasn't realized the door is locked you try to close the door, you can't, you have to open the door again. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think they have to play a little bit in there with settings. Uh, anyway, like we've said, this looks really cheap. The Akara one looks a lot nicer. Again, 
uh, since it's Zigbee and consumes less energy maybe with this little battery is enough this is Bluetooth it needs more power so they added this big battery maybe that's why it's bigger it is a lot slower than the Akara one we've seen a minute in the software the Akara one you open the door immediately you know the door is open you close the door you will immediately know the door is closed this takes some time it takes about 10-15 seconds to realize the door is closed or the door is open and beside the fact that you will lock the door as soon as you close the door there's no other benefits of it so i will skip buying this really especially if you integrate it with home assistant you can do a much nicer automation of locking the doors than this thing hi guys so we've seen the hardware bit of this video let's have a look now at the software bit so we have in here the Nuki keypad 2.0 and we also have in here the NFC tag reader that we built I also added a button just for testing purposes and we'll see in a minute let's test first the Nuki keypad so on the Nuki keypad I already have set two fingers let's have a look you scan nothing happens it's really now you open the door it's really a hit and miss with this nothing You see, it's blinking now, it's saying that it doesn't recognize the finger. Still nothing, let's try another finger. Nothing, let's try the code. One, three, one, four, one, five. It's blinking, it doesn't recognize the code. One, three, one, four, one, five. No, it's not opening anything. Come on. So you see it's blinking. It doesn't recognize the finger. Now it opened again. So you have to stay about twenty, thirty seconds on the outside until the lock decides to recognize your finger let's try again nothing nothing now it worked now it now it didn't let's see again now it didn't now it did now to lock the door To lock the door you have to press this back key. Now it did close the door. You see, sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, so this is it. Sometimes it works. Sometimes you have to stay a little longer. But uh, it does have a little bit of weight to it. Idea is nice. It's just that, let's see, nothing, the door is locked now, let's see, no, now it's unlocking, so you have to wait a little bit. Now, a better solution, and a cheaper solution also, I think is this NFC tag reader, which I believe will cost about 20 euros to make more or less even le less now this tag reader is the same uh, tag reader like we used in the other video about the alarm so let's have a look i have this tag reader 
with two automations we have these two automations in here NFC door and NFC with the button let's try this first now this automation it has a few triggers now we have two tags tag number one which is called Nuki tag and the trigger ID is lock tag number two which is called Robert key and the tag in the trigger ID is also lock if you have more tags you can just add them in here now we have another trigger which in this case is this little button in here just for testing purposes now this button is called NFC door and this button is under the ESP home under the this device configurations you see is this button in here now this button is called NFC door you see now we have this button so the trigger is that when this button is pressed changes its status from off to on then the trigger ID is called close no condition in this case we have two actions each action will have their own conditions action number one action number one has two options option number one option number one has two conditions that has to match in order to perform the action the condition number one is that the entrance door which is this which is the new key uh, ID from MQTT so if entrance door is locked this condition number one so the entrance door has to be locked and also the trigger for this has to be lock which is any of the tags so to are locked and the tag is scanned action is entrance door will unlock so if any of these two conditions are match then the door will unlock then option number two has two conditions as well first the door has to be unlocked in this case then the trigger for this the trigger ID for this is lock which is again any of the two tags so if the door is unlocked in this case and is being any of the tag are, has been scanned then open the door the difference between unlock and open unlock you will just unlock the door open will unlatch it so if you have on the outside a bar or a knob you will have to push the door otherwise you'll have to insert the key and unlatch it yourself so if the door is been unlocked then it will open the door for you now we have another action in here which only have one option if two conditions are match the first one is that is the trigger has to be the button in this case and the door has to be unlocked so if the door is unlocked and you press the button what happen is it will lock the door so let's have a look if it works the door is now un unlocked so if I press the button it's locking the door you see now if you press again nothing will happen because the condition was you press the button and the door also has to be unlocked now the door is locked you come home you have your own tag in there you scan the tag immediately you don't have to do it three times four times now the door is been unlocked but not open now if you scan again it opens the door 
You see, it's beautiful. You scan again. It opens the door again. It just works. This is how devices are supposed to work, especially for this range of price. So let's lock it again. Beautiful. Now let's go back to our automations and let's disable the one with the button. Okay, and let's enable this one. Now, ignore the button now. Say you don't want the button. Now we have I have another automation in here which is pretty much similar but removing from the equation the button. Now we have in here two triggers. You see we don't have the button anymore, we have the tags. You can add in here all your tags you want. We have a condition in here that the little LED has to be on. I'll explain in a minute why this condition. And you also have the actions in here. Why I added this condition? If you have more than one tag reader like me, I have another one that I use for the alarm system. Then you see in here there is no way of specifying which of the reader reads the tag. So you're just saying that when this tag is being scanned, but not to which of the reader. So if you don't specify this and you scan your alarm, the tag on the alarm one, then you will lock the door, unlock the door, you will be a mess. By specifying this, you will say that perform the action only if this reader is being on. So this will only happen for a second when you scan it. We'll see this in a minute. So you have the two triggers in here, which are the tags. We have the condition that the light has to be on. And we have the actions. Now we have two actions in here. Action number one. If the entrance door is locked, then unlock the door. So you scan it. If the door is locked, unlock the door. No mystery. Okay. Action number two. If the entrance door is being unlocked for 20 or more seconds, then lock the door. So if you unlock the door, and you hasn't scanned the tag again within the 20 seconds, then you will lock the door. Otherwise, if the entrance door is being unlocked for 20 or less seconds, this is what it means, otherwise, open the door. So, let's have a look. The door is locked. If I scan the tag, it's unlocking the door and now you see it's counting the seconds in here we says 20 seconds the door has been unlocked for three four seconds okay now within the 20 seconds if I scan again you see it opens the door scan again it opens the door now if the 20 seconds has passed and you scan now it's locking the door. You see, this is beautiful. Now, in order to get the device, the Nuki, into the home assistant, it's fairly, fairly easy. How you do it? You open the app. Let's go back. So you open the Nuki app. Now you go to settings. Now you go to features and configurations. Mm. 
under features and configuration you go all the way down where you see the MQTT I already have it uh, installed but I will delete it for the purpose of this video so let's start again MQTT now in order for this to work you will have to have installed the mosquito broker or any MQTT brokers add-on I have the mosquito broker and it works fine now install this if you don't have it and configure it with your username and password and once you have this then you go back to your new key app and you say activate it will ask you for a host the host is the IP address of your uh, home assistant server 192.168.0.63 in my case now it will ask you for a username username in my case is NQTT and it will ask you for a password which is optional let me key in the password and I'll come back in a minute okay so we have the username we have the password and we have the host name which is the IP address you want to automatically discover it in home assistant enable this and you want to be able to lock the door and unlock the door from the home assistant so select both of these op uh, options in here and say activate now if your server is up and running and everything is fine then it should show as connected that's it once you've done this if you go back to your devices in here let's say I think this is called entrance entrance door smart lock new key you see in here automatically detected and this is what you have you have the sensor it picks up the sensor the new key sensor now it picks up the battery level it picks up the the condition of the battery picks up the condition of the door sensor picks up the condition of the battery of the keypad it will not let you use the keypad or the fob but you can still use these controls in here which is uh, open the door close the door lock and go lock and go with unlarge unlarge door so this is it. it was really really easy and this is all local because we use the local IP address of the server now they have to be on the same Wi-Fi and you have to have the mosquito broker plugin installed once you have this then you have it in here you wanna lock it you see you have the sensor in here this is it so this was the video about the new key 3.0 pro this only works with the, the this integration only works with the new key 3.0 which has its own Wi-Fi the pro version I'm not sure with the regular one with the bridge I think you have to use different methods but for the pro version is really really easy to integrate now the keypad it's unless they fix it with the firmware or something is really hit and miss sometimes you have to say up to like a minute outside the door to try to unlock the door you basically can do it a lot easier just to like uh, get out the keys and just unlock the door with the NFC reader tag it's really really easy and it works all the time 
So this was the video. If you have any questions, just ask below. I'll try to answer. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.